Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Victoria, where we are currently cruising along pretty well, I might add. We're making about 83k per month. That's really, really solid. We're working on spending down our debt a little bit before we expand our construction for sure. We are on a righteous government with 100 legitimacy. That looks amazing. We've already banned slavery. Looks good. We need this to last for 10 years, though, for the slavery debate to end. So that's definitely a bit of a concern. So we will proceed forward here, of course, and our standard of living is coming up nicely. Our population has dropped somewhat. Okay. That's noted. Our radicalism is going down a lot. Um, is this drop perhaps? No, this shouldn't be due to the war. Why is our population dropping right now? Is there a migration going on? I don't know of one if there is. Let's see what happens on this week tick. Held steady at 17.95. 17.94. We are dropping in our population. Okay. So why is that happening? We definitely need to figure that out. So let's go into our population here. Let's see. I don't know about any migrations happening. Where is this dropping at? Is there a map mode for that? I don't think that there is. Where can we see things like this? Okay, so we're migrating out of New York. Migrating out of Pennsylvania, out of Ohio. Tennessee is migrating out. Kentucky is migrating out. Okay, so why is this happening? They're going to New South Wales, Queensland, South Australia, Northern Territory, Nevada, Arizona, New Mexico, California, and Sonora. So some of these are leaving the nation. A lot of that is due to our migration attraction. Okay. Well, there's not a ton we can do about that. We could put in like a greener grass campaign in a state like New York. We can only do the one though. At a certain point, we're just going to have to accept it, I feel like. Mutual funds have been unlocked. That means that we're getting a lot more money, and we now have publicly traded unlocked. Do we want to be publicly traded? Possibly. Any of these that are showing as positive will make me publicly traded. Actually, even if they're slightly negative, I feel like we still make them publicly traded. That means that there's more capitalists, which means that we get more going into our investment pool, right? So that would be the idea there. That should also raise the standard of living somewhat. So for now, we're going to go down to publicly traded for all of these that we can. Some of them we apparently aren't able to yet. And that's fine. For our ship shipyards, should we go for steamships here? I think we'll hold off on that for the time being. But in most cases, we'll be better off being publicly traded, I feel like. If we run into issues with it, we can, of course, always change it later. So that'll be fine. We'll go ahead and do that for the moment. There we go. And hopefully, hopefully, that will cause some uh, migration changes here. I think a lot of this is probably to do with our standard of living, which is coming up and it will continue to. New Mexico has now been colonized. Do we need to make that into a proper state? Yes. Yes, we do. So we'll go ahead and do so. Do we have a railway there? No. Nope. We'll go ahead and put one in. Are there any other locations that we do need a railway in? Size one, size one, size one, size three, size one. Yep. That all looks good. Cool. Okay. Okay. So, we're not currently colonizing this Comanche territory. Fair enough. That seems reasonably fine. We do have more destiny to manifest, of course. For now, our finances are holding. Our GDP is starting to dip here. And that is almost certainly because of our population. That said, we've got plenty of peasants. So for the moment, I'm not the most concerned about it. We're going to get steel frame buildings done soon. I wouldn't necessarily mind. Hmm. 
We could restrict child labor here. We can't do compulsory pri or compulsory primary school just yet. Can we go down? Oh, we can do regulatory bodies. I think we definitely do this. It's not the most easy thing to pass right now. But I think that that is very important to get that workplace safety office built. So that'll be fine. We'll get started on that. This revolution being here? Yeah, this is not really a problem. I don't think that's going to be an issue at all. Checking in on our legitimacy real quick looks great. And our institutions are reasonably fine as well. I'm not too concerned about them at this moment. Cool. I'm definitely concerned about our population declining. That is a concern. Low market access in Ohio. Are we already constructing there? This is in New Mexico. Uh, no, we are not. So we'll go ahead and queue up a railway in Ohio. Okay, what else do we have going on here? Tools are expensive. But otherwise, this is not particularly bad. Things are looking reasonable with the possible exception of this population decline. The population decline is not great. Is this coming from our incorporated or unincorporated population? That's an interesting question. And I'm not sure. We should definitely go ahead and get something else here. Uh, what do we want to go for? That's an interesting question. Something in society? Perhaps, um... What would we be looking at? Potentially international exchange standards if we wanted more minting. But what I really think that we would want to go after would be the tech that we needed to do compulsory primary school. What was that again? Human rights. Okay. So in that case, we should be here, right? Cool. We'll go ahead and do that. They want to preserve serfdom abolished, huh? Okay. Sure, whatever. So, for the moment, we can change our construction sector down to steel frame buildings. This is going to drive a lot of prices up, and it's going to require some work to get that good to go. Tools, steel, glass, explosives. That's okay. We're running a steel input goods shortage. Do we immediately see steel mills being queued up here? No. Okay, so I definitely do want to put in additional steel mills. And how many and where? The answer is Pennsylvania, and I'm going to do three. There we go. So we're negative in our finances right now. I'm not shocked about that. I don't love it with us being still in debt. Worker safety negotiations, huh? Neither of these, I think, really matter. We'll support the trade unions. Okay. So up to 24.2% on that. That's looking good. And this should turn around and become positive eventually. The question is when. When indeed. 19 weeks on those steel mills. And the steel input is shortage shortage, rather, was fully expected. Tools, glass, explosives. Okay. So we're at minus 16k right now. This is still what I would consider to be a reasonably healthy economy. We can still easily turn this around. But I definitely want those steel mills finished up as soon as we can. This tooling workshop will help a lot as well. We should probably get some glass glassworks going here. So those would go in... Well, it would be in Ohio. I'll build three there as well. Cool. So that'll be fine. 15 weeks on the steel mills and 22 on those glassworks. The tooling workshop in one week will make things a lot better. We need to keep in mind our construction goods are super expensive right now, particularly steel and glass. We're addressing both of those. So this will get a lot cheaper to construct. And that's good. We are up to 250 construction per week now. So this was like a 70% increase. 
And that's even with an input goods shortage. Not bad. Not bad at all. 10 weeks on that steel mill upgrade. And things should be going pretty well at that point. Now we are dipping a little bit more negative financially. This was expected when we went down. So that should be fine. 23, 24% chance on enacting regulatory bodies. Not the greatest chance here. So we'll see when that ends up actually going through. We're at 17.6 million. It looks like our migration out has stopped. We're holding relatively firm here. That 0.79 is nowhere near where we want it to be, though. Strike breakers, huh? Hmm. Minus 20% enactment time, huh? We'll do it. It's awkward, considering what we're trying to pass, but we'll do it. <laughs> Fantastic. So our GDP has been recovering. Looks good. And our radicals are continuing to decline, and our loyalists are continuing to grow. Dangerous equipment, huh? Pennsylvania with 50% manufacturing industries. I don't love the increased mortality here, but a 50% throughput reduction for five years? That's a lot. This mortality is going to hurt. And the regulatory bodies will help that a lot. So that seems fine. After we finish that, can we yet get public health insurance? Because the health system institution would be really, really strong here. We can, actually. So that's something that we might want to do after we get regulatory bodies, just for the population growth. Getting our population growth back up to that, like, 1.52% that we saw in Argentina this early in the game would be really strong. Pennsylvania's market access is dropping, which I did actually expect. We definitely need to get a railroad there, at, especially as these glassworks finish up. That's for sure. Gold has been depleted in Mexico. Okay. Repeaters have now been unlocked, and we just dipped positive in our finances. That's what we like to see as the, the price of steel drops. So let's go ahead and go into our arms industries here. We'll go to repeating rifles. Cool. Tools, explosive, steel, and glass. Well, that's all to be expected. We'll continue constructing. And we're constructing at a much higher rate now. Looks like 254 is probably the most that we can get. So that wasn't a very big input because shortage of steel. Yeah, we cut the price about by half. We could use more steel mills, though. That's very clear. So I'm going to put an additional three steel mills in. All in Pennsylvania. The question then is, what about glass? What's the price of glass going to look like? This is probably going to be okay for glass, is my guess. Opposition members have put forth their demands. Plus 15% enactment success chance, but we're unpopular with the trade unions. Done. I don't mind that at all. I do very much like that we're positive financially again. So we can see that the amount that we're spending on construction goods has come down quite a lot. And it's that price of steel and glass, as expected. Glass will continue to drop, and steel will as well soon. So yeah, that all looks great. Absolutely great. What is this? A diplomatic play in Central America. Radical Costa Rica versus Costa Rica. We'll lean over here for the time being. We'll just see if they'll offer us anything in exchange for joining. They probably won't. They don't tend to do that. I don't plan on getting super involved down here, so it should be fine. New Granada has sided with Costa Rica. They'll probably be fine without us. I don't, I don't think they're going to actually go for us here. Cool. So our steel mills are 15 weeks away from finishing up. And we are positive again, spending down that credit. I like it. Yeah, that all looks good. Our population is definitely not growing as quickly as I'd like to see. Our literacy has been coming up. 
but I'd really like that to get further. That's the point behind going for human rights here, is to bring up our literacy, which will improve our tech. So that's all looking good. As far as our GDP goes, that's growing, but not quite as quickly as I'd like to see. But for the moment, it looks fine. Crooked connections, huh? The uh, leader of the trade unions want to, wants to use his connections to make this go faster. Done. Cool. We knew that enacting regulatory bodies would be difficult, right? That was definitely going to be a thing that would take a while. It didn't have a ton of support. These paper trade routes are unproductive, so we'll get rid of them. Fantastic. Let's see, we just finished that railroad in Pennsylvania, right? I don't think we need another one. Correct. Good. So that's absolutely fine. Four weeks on our steel mills here. Ooh. Large numbers of Carabinio people have begun migrating to Michigan. I like it. Do we have jobs for them in Michigan? Eh, possibly. Definitely possibly. <laughs> okay. Regulatory bodies fail poorly in public debates, decreasing the enactment success by 10%. Sad. One of these times, though, we'll pass it. One of these times. So our steel mills are finishing now. And that should lower the price of steel further. Let's see what happens on this week tick. Oh, yeah. That's looking good. Shift work has been unlocked. That doesn't really matter to us right now. Although it will work, or it, it will matter later as our economy of scale builds up. So that'll be fine. Yeah, we're getting a lot of these uh, uh, chemical plants are actually pretty useful here. We have a high price on explosives right now. So that's fine. Tools, glass, explosives. A steel is no longer considered expensive. So I definitely like that. Cool. Hmm. Plus 20% enactment success chance, but minus 33% manufacturing industries throughput. We're going to go for the de-escalation option here. I don't like the 10% throughput reduction. That's going to hurt. But the other would have hurt more. So <laughs> there's all that. Fantastic. So this glassworks definitely needs to be moved up the queue. There we go. Cool. So our economy is in a strong position right now. Right? We're number five worldwide. And this is just going to continue to get better. If we can get regulatory bodies passed, we're going to start really skyrocketing our growth. Do we annex the Indian Territory? Well, yes, but when? When do we annex them? So this is a diplomatic play, right? We used to have the ability to annex them. Maybe we no longer do. Okay. Positive outcome this time in the debates. Raising that enactment success to 46.1%. That's a definite improvement. So that's looking good. And we're just constructing away here. Tools, glass, and explosives are all expensive. We're building chemical plants right now, a tooling workshop, and a glass workshop. So all of those are being addressed. That looks good. We do need to queue up more things here. We only have seven weeks left on our construction queue. I'm not sure why it's not queuing more. Possibly because there's nothing to queue. Okay, just checking in on our legitimacy here. We shouldn't have lost any of our auto queue here. Yeah, we didn't. We could go down to covered markets. That would consume more glass and steel. Backroom dealings have been exposed. Okay, um... Dealing with corruption. Sure. I don't care about bureaucracy right now. Or rather, yeah, bureaucracy. That's fine. Do we want to go down to gas street lights here? That'll consume more coal. What is the price of coal like? Not too bad. I think we do it. And we could go to public trams too, to increase the price of transportation nicely. Do we go to covered markets? I would like to. Our urban centers are going to be 
they're going to have zero productivity, though, by doing that. So I think for the moment, we don't. And we continue to work on the price of steel and glass. Low market access in Pennsylvania again. No shockers there. We are already building a railroad, though, so that looks good. Cool. So this glass work in Pennsylvania and Ohio is going to finish up soon. Hmm. Minus 15% enactment success chance, huh? We're going to go for minus 10% instead, but we're having a hard time getting regulatory bodies passed. We knew it would be hard. We definitely knew that. Okay, our GDP is definitely coming up nicely. We would like to see it come up more, but for now it'll do. Is our truce up with Mexico? Uh, I wanted to go to Mexico proper here. Diplomacy and they're in a defensive pact here. Customs unions. They owe the obligation to France. Yeah, I think... We believe France may side with the enemy again. Okay. Do we care about France? 260 plus 227. I mean, to some degree. <laughs> it, didn't, it was poor again. Okay, we're back down to 16.5. Back where we started here. I like it. So, France we're currently amicable with. Why are they interested in the Mexican region anyway? I don't know. But they are interested in Mexico. Okay. Well, for now, we're not too, too concerned about that. We are going to attack Mexico again. It's a question of when. And I would really like to get regulatory bodies passed before then. We'll see what happens on that one, but getting our population to come up would be really good. I mean, we are getting like 155,000 annually, but we could get more. Hey, positive outcome. Back up to 26.4%. One of these days we're going to be able to pass it, but it is not this day. Cool. So our glassworks and our steel mills are continuing to work their way up. Glass is still considered expensive. I would really like to get our... To get our... Uh, what are they called? Urban centers. Urban centers. Where are they? I can't even find them. There we go. <laughs> Fantastic. I'm blind. Okay. I would really like to get our urban centers brought down to covered markets. Actually, minus 9.0k? Okay. That's not too bad. Yeah, the price of glass and steel is going to skyrocket. In both cases, it's going to be maxed out. So I think before we do that, we should build at least three additional of, of each. So Pennsylvania, I'm actually going to take it up to 20. And then for the glass works, we're going to build in Ohio up to 15. Like that. Okay, so we'll get that done. And it fared poorly, so we're down to 16% now. <laughs> Look at these checkpoints. Insane. We'll get it passed eventually, I'm sure. So this is going to be 21 weeks until all of that is completed. When that is complete, I definitely want to go to arcades. No doubt about that. So do we do it now? Or actually, we go to covered markets. We can't go to arcades yet. Honestly, maybe we do now. Maybe we give it a couple more weeks. I want it to be swapped over like two weeks, I think, before these come online. Bureaucratic imbroglio. Imbroglio? Imbroglio. There we go. <laughs> well, enactment time. Sure. This is tough. We're having a really hard time getting regulatory bodies passed. We knew it would be tough, though. So that's okay. Completely and totally fine. This railway in Pennsylvania should probably be prioritized. There we go. 
We don't have any upgrades to these, do we? Actually, publicly traded might not be terrible. Or government run. But I think having the capitalists would be better. So we'll do that for now. Uh, we should have this on auto expand, and they are all subsidized as expected. Cool. So that's looking good. Nine weeks here. Realistically, I feel like that's okay. Yeah, eight weeks left. Let's go ahead and switch these over to covered markets. There we go. So glass and steel are now immediately expensive. Fared poorly again. We're down to 6.1% chance. Yikes, we're rolling very badly on that. So steel jumped up a little bit. Glass jumped up quite a lot. Noted. But we're going to get these done in five weeks, and that should really help those prices. Now, we're quite positive financially right now. That's good. We want to get our deficit, or rather, our credit paid off. We're still paying a little bit of interest, but not very much. So this is looking fantastic. Glassworks and steel mills will be done shortly. I'm driving those prices down. And yeah, that looks excellent. Cool. So all of that finishes up just instantly. Low market access in Ohio and Pennsylvania. No shockers there. We're already building a railway in Pennsylvania. We'll build one in Ohio as well. Okay. And we are about to be out of debt. Looks good. Looks really, really good. So I do want to check in on those prices. Glass price? Not bad. Steel is no longer considered expensive either. Cool. Okay. We got another plus 10% on that. Sure. That's fine. And yeah, glass is still a little expensive. And steel is a little expensive too. But this looks fine. This looks completely and totally okay. Cool. We are about to be out of debt. And there we go. We're out of debt. And with that, it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to probably expand our construction, to be honest. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Ken Tuin, James Shadowwolf, Mlohan80, Kentogan, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Spartan News, Unisol, Rogue Corvid, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.